Hello guys, today I would like to show you how to create this simple scene setup with letters and Cinema 4D close dynamic simulation. This is pretty simple scene, so it will be cool for beginners. Let's move in Cinema 4D and check how to create this. Okay, so let's recreate this from scratch. Here is uh, my scene setup. And let's create the same. I just turn off all and we can start with spline. Let's create the spline. I create cube just to keep the size because for simulation it's really important. With small sizes simulation will be pretty different than with really big sizes. So we, I try to keep this inside the cube size like 200 centimeters. Let's draw some letter, maybe different, like maybe P. It can be any shape, maybe your logo or some stuff from Illustrator. Let's use this one, remove the cube and set points to uniform with higher settings, I think 20. And now let's place it into volume builder. Sets smaller voxel size. And here we can add more density, maybe one. And more radius, maybe 25. Yep. Next one, let's change shape a little bit. I think we can make it like this here and on the middle we can make it bigger so we have letter P like this one let's put it inside volume measure and as you can see right now we have pretty density with polygons so it can be cool for simulation, for details, but it can be pretty hard if you have not powerful PC. So let's put into remeasure and you will be able to control your density. I set this by 50. Great, now we have much better topology and less polygon count. Now we place all in connect and turn off to weld. Let's check our simulation at simulation tag and to get more details I will increase bendiness and I think maybe we can add more target length. Let's check. Okay, let's check without target length. Turn off the gravity go into your project settings and in simulation tab we uh, oh, sorry it's already turned it off because it's my old project settings let's check it now yeah it's looking pretty nice i think from old setup turbulence still work let me turn it off And check again so now nothing happens because we don't have anything any forces inside the scene but we can add balloon to inflate our letter I think it's have to be 1.5 here yeah, it flattened pretty nice but if we want would like to get some details we have to use spline like and circles like in my previous version so let's create circle let's make radius i think 50 maybe less 30 and put it inside the cloner in the cloner settings let's choose object and place or spline for the object okay 
Great, maybe uh, now we can control how many circles we need, I think. For start, we can try with this and make the circles with rob dynamics. I just increase the radius, I think maybe try for five. I make this because with small geometry it can be problems with colliding. And for target length I set is 75. Let's check. Oops, sorry. I think we have to place into cloner. Yep. Yeah, now you can see this goal details. But it's not too much, so let's check here. Okay, so we have friction. I think we need to increase friction by one here and try it here. Also, I think to add more bendiness and a little bit of stretchiness. And for target length, we can add more. Yeah, now it's pretty better. As you can see, there's a lot of details. It's looking great. And now we can add turbulence tech. And add a little turbulence, I think 50 and 100, but scale. The check. Oh, it's too much. I think 20. Still too much, maybe 10 and less scale by 50. Yeah, I think this one much better. Also, we can decrease target length more. Here yeah, now it's too much. Yeah, great, I think something like this one, just on my previous version, I also have stickness. It's at more stickness. Yeah, now it's working much better. Just one thing that we can add, it's change a little bit our spline to make this part longer. So it will be keep the shape I think like this one let's wait for animation great let's check animation again yeah it's pretty good and pretty similar to original setup so now let's check the light and the materials it's pretty simple too I'll turn off my redshift setup now it's on and let's check in the render view. Okay. So let's turn on AGRI map. It's just simple AGRI map with some, I think it's grayscale gorilla. Assets, yeah, it's just creative office Asia, right? Pretty simple. Looks like this one, it's just inside the room without any special settings or other, just uh, increase it global illumination by two. Also, we have background, it's dome light with turning off all these settings just to provide us with color. Then I add one light and the the back to get more lights on this area one more light on the right side here and one light on the top to get more like here okay now let's check material let's put it here it's pretty simple material we just have 
roughness map, like some grungy texture. Put it into the roughness, the same to the bump with pretty low settings, just to make it a little bit and with 50% great color and nothing change it more. So yeah, you can check how it look. Next, what I use it to get looks like in the animation that I show on the start of the video. We have some cameras. Let me show the cameras. Oops, sorry. We can go with first one. All camera is the same. Let's animate it. Of course, camera animation have to be changed to the new shape. We can stop on this part. So what I used, I used focus to focus node and my focal length is 200. I also tested different presets for sensor. I choose just this one and then I add my focus to the object focus and set aperture by 0 0.5 and turn on bokeh. So to place the focus I just use in place tool and choose sound maybe point like this. It's not too much blurriness and inside the bokeh I add image. Bokeh image like this, it's from Grayscale Gorilla 2. I think you can create the same in Photoshop, so it's not a big problem. And we have visual like this, so all scene is pretty simple. You can also add more smoothness with subdivision surface and get these nice details. We can check it on close up. I think it looks pretty nice. Thanks for watching, guys.